Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. We're going to go over the breaking news for Dogecoin. I'll show you guys this. Um, some people, you know, could be thinking, you know, this isn't good for this isn't good for Dogecoin, guys. Um, could it be could things be falling out? We're going to go over that and then we're going to go over the Dogecoin metrics. And this is where it's going to get really interesting because this actually called the drop. And if you guys were in here, you guys made a pretty decent amount of money if you were able to find an exchange to short Dogecoin. All right. And then we're going to go over the price prediction and the live trades of how much money we've been making over the last few days. While this market's been going down, we've actually closed trades for over 20 percent profit. We'll get to that. Breaking news first, though. Um, Bitcoin bull Mike Saylor compares buying Dogecoin to gambling in Vegas. This is one of the trending articles. OK, so. Mike Saylor is notorious for just buying up a ridiculous amount of Bitcoin as it drops. And so a lot of people follow him. But here's what he's got to say here. I'm going to buy Dogecoin before Elon Musk goes on Saturday Night Live. I'm going to go to Vegas and I'm going to bet on black. <laughs> a lot of gunners and one is in here, okay? Um, with that said, the billionaire believes that it's not unethical to gamble on meme stocks or meme cryptocurrencies as long as you don't impoverish your family. And this is what he said down here. Um, we shouldn't tell adults they can't if they want to gamble on sporting outcomes or if they want to gamble in Vegas or if they want to gamble on a meme, as long as you're a gambling bucket and as long as it's your gambling bucket and you're not going to impoverish your family. Okay, some pretty good advice here from uh, Mr. Mike Saylor. I have to agree with that. Invest no more than you're willing to lose or you're financially able to lose is maybe a better thing. But take a look at this, guys. Um, is Elon Musk losing his edge? Uh, Turning article here today, tweets fail to move Doge price. If tweets of, of Elon Musk fail to move Doge, what is going to save Dogecoin? Leave it in the comments. Let me know your opinion. What do you think is going to save it? Because a lot of people know that when Elon Musk came out here and he was pumping this, his tweets were doing an incredible amount of good sometimes for Dogecoin. All right. Well, listen to this. For the first time, it seems Elon Musk's tweets have no effect on Doge. The billionaire had tweeted earlier about Doge, but this time there was no relation from, uh, no, excuse me, sorry, let me highlight this here. There was no reaction from the coin. In fact, the coin is down 2% since the tweet went live, okay? Take a look at this down here. But now, Musk tweets has failed to move the price of the coin. Elon Musk has earlier tweeted, release the Doge, but the coin has refused to move. To move. Gotta get my words together. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like stumbling over all my words this morning. So this leads us to the question. And this is my question for you guys, which you can rip on in the comments. Has Musk lost his edge over Dogecoin? What do you guys think? Like I'm in Dogecoin as well. And I'm kind of a little bit nervous here. I'm like, oh my gosh, if tweets aren't working anymore, what's going to save it? It's like really silly to think that, but it is a thought that I'm personally having. So you look, you guys let me know what you think, but take a look at this. The Doge metrics on tradeconfident.io makes you guys are signed up for this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's $49 a month. Okay. It's going to go up to $98 here um, in, in the coming soon. I haven't decided exactly when, but you guys get all the metrics for this and you guys are gonna get the live trades as well. So at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, this is gonna update. It's currently, let's call it 6.30. It's 6.22 right now in the morning. So 6.30, 7.30, in an hour and a half, this is going to update. But look what happened last time you guys were viewing this. Over the weekend, we saw an incredible spike up here for the emotional index into the excited, and we barely ticked into the greedy section up here. What happened when we got there? Okay, this was on Sunday, and this was on Saturday, okay? Look at Saturday. Saturday on here. If you guys pull over here to Saturday, that would have been uh, three, four, five. So it'd been the third right over here. We peaked out at the top and you're like, this isn't a big drop. It was actually a drop of about 9.85%, which was a bigger drop than Ethereum. Although Ethereum looks like a bigger drop here, it was actually a bigger percentage drop on Dogecoin. So if you guys, you know, have an exchange out there that you're shorting Dogecoin on, you know, leave it in the comments. Cause I think a lot of people want to know how to short now because you guys are able to follow these metrics and make good money. Let me know what exchange you guys are using to short. I'm just kind of interested to see what you guys have to say. All right, so w watching these metrics here, if you guys watch this and you stayed consistent to this, if you're looking at the fearful and anxiety emotions in the market from traders, you guys know to buy that now. Like I'm trying to get you guys on the side of the wells and the institutions. I have actually coached hedge funds of how to do this in the past. And, I, and 
part of it is I was like, guys, you need to watch the emotions of traders. If they're all fearful and anxious, I'm letting you guys know, this is a great time to put your buys in because you guys are gonna be buying all that short liquidity and that sell liquidity and you're gonna be able to ride your money all the way back up when everyone's scared. So it's like, now I'm releasing it to all of you guys. Okay, long versus short trades for Doge. We see that the short trades have dropped off and kind of going sideways here, but the long trades are steadily increasing, trying to get this higher, high, higher, low formation to start getting pumped in the market. I do like this. This gives me a little bit more of incentive that the whales and even retail traders are actually buying this as we start moving down. So as we see this move down here, follow me here on the charts, as we start moving down, we are seeing a little bit of a pump here in the long trades. It's actually more bullish than the short trades taking over. So I like this for a possible move up here, okay? But make sure you guys watch this. In literally an hour and a half, this is gonna update. If the long trades are shooting up really high, that gives me confidence. If short trades, literally in one one day this candle bar can happen from here to here is one day. One chart update from here to here. And then we start dropping out after that. Let's see if short trades jump up here in the next hour and a half. That could give us a sign that we could be going down even further, all right? Long versus short trade risk. If you're looking for any trades today, not financial advice, obviously entertainment purposes only, I gotta put it out there. If you guys are following this and you guys took the good long trade that got signaled out down here, that was the trade that came out at the bottom and you guys rode this up. And this was a total of, obviously you should you most likely didn't take advantage of the whole percentage. I would have, I wouldn't have, and nobody else probably would have. But a total of 74.16%. 74%. This called it perfectly down here. Great long trade. Well, this weekend, we hit barely into the good short trade section, and that ended up helping call a 10% drop in Dogecoin. All right, these metrics you guys need to be following, okay? Well, an institutional smart money. This is what I, this is what's happening, guys. The long trades are taking over. So as we see Dogecoin actually pushing down into these lower sections, you know, plus pos pushing lower lows here, maybe getting down to the 16% mark, 16 cent mark, and I'll go over that in the price prediction. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to be watching this. The well and institutional smart money is currently buying this dip. And we saw back over here when this dip happened really strong and anxiety and fear hit, it, hit into the market. This is when a lot of long trade volume came into the market and they bought it and they drove it straight back up. Well, take a look what happened here when we got back up, short trades came out and then what happened here? We also saw a drop in the market as well. So let's see today if we can get a spike up here and a very nice long trade spike, that is good sentiment to me that we could start seeing a bounce back up. If this comes down and drops below this, um, basically we'll call it a baseline here into the shorts. That is not a great uh, sign for moving back up. It's probably going to start moving back down. Okay. Death cross is still active here. So I want to make sure you guys are watching this. Okay. Let's go into the next section of this video and uh, we're going to talk about the price prediction. Okay. So the price prediction of this, if we start seeing from these metrics that update here and literally guys an hour and a half, make sure you're watching this. If this comes out and we see a spike up to excited or you're still in the greedy section, if we see the short trades come up here a little bit more, where do I expect this to drop? drop to. I do expect to see, you know, I, I was going to say over the weekend 25 cents because that's a very, you know, quarter theory psychological number, but we're already below 25 cents. So the next spot below that, like, honestly, it's not really a psychological number. It's a structure low. And the structure low is at about 16 cents. Could we drop out the 16 cents? Well, technically that is the next catch point for Dogecoin. It's not to scare you guys. I've got like 10, well actually now it's about 12% of my portfolio is in Dogecoin and I'm still in here. So I don't want this to go down. I'm trying to report on this. I'm biased to you guys so you can get the good info to make right decisions. So I do think a move down to 16 cents is possible because it's very obvious that this is the next structure low on the chart, but watch it. This is something that's gonna give us a little bit of maybe excitement in the market though. If you guys take a look at the trend exhaustion over here, we have come down to the bottom section where this historically when we get down here has seen some pumps in the market. We saw back over here when we got down here to this low area, we saw that nice jump. 74% jump. And then when we got over here, we saw another jump in the market, which ended up giving us about an 18% jump. We're there again. That's why the trend exhaustion indicator is also very nice to have on your guys' trading view charts. These are in the video description as well, as well as the price versus the well money flow. This is telling us we could be moved for, due for move up based off the trend. This is based off of price action. This is based off of volume and actual statistics in the market when you guys look at these metrics. So using both is a good idea. If we see a move back up, we could see, I think it'd be correlated very close to this move here, which could be about an 18% move because we're at about the same price. Now, an 18% move up from where we're at currently could put Dogecoin at about 
uh, let's call it 27, 26 to 27 cents. We'll call it 26 cents. I'll write this down. So 26 cents for a move up, but we could see move down here to probably about, let's say 16 cents as a low. So 26 and 16 cents are what I'd be looking for. Um, price versus the well money flow. We need to start seeing this green line back moving back up to see that the wells are buying into this. Price and money flow are correlated together, guys. And this is where the price goes down very fast. So make sure you're watching that as well. Trend dashboard is completely red. This tells me retail traders are looking to short the market. They're as well looking to sell because they want to ride with room, ride with momentum. I promise I'm getting my words together on these videos, guys. They want to ride the momentum down um, and they are obviously seeing that it's going down. So they're getting scared and they're, they're selling. We know that from the emotional index as well. All right, real quickly, last section of this video, let's go over the trading profits. You guys can follow this over at tradeconfident.io. Um, I'm trading the top 16 currencies right now. I am going to be pulling this back a little bit to be maybe the top uh, seven to eight so we can get really focused and make profits on those. But I want to show you guys what happened if you are subscribed over here. And yes, $49 a month, you guys will be able to access this and I'm gonna be making this for uh, paid members only here very soon. So over the weekend, we took a win of 20 point, 20% 20 guys, 20%, 20.10% 20 on GRT. You guys can look at the whole trade history right here. That was a very nice one. Also took a profit of 20.22% on ICP. Guys, I'm not covering all these on the videos. I don't have time to cover them all, but I'm covering them over here at Trade Confident. So make sure you guys go over there. And then if you wanna see the actual trade history of how this played out, click this Google link, and you guys can see from the exact first day I called this on June 3rd, before we even got into the first buy limit, to watching this all the way down, guys, all the way down, you see every single update, every buy stop move, every sell limit move, everything, everything, guys sell stops, like all of these, all, everything, like it, anything you guys want to see on the trade, check it out there. That's where it's at. All right, guys, let's end this video. I don't want to make this too long, but um, and then another trade we took uh, for a win in the past was 15.14% on Bitcoin. All the wins, all the losses will be updated here. Tradeconfident.io. Make sure you guys subscribe before the memberships go up there. All right, guys, I'm done. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. Make sure you're watching the market metrics that update here in uh, at 6.30. So, uh, it's going to update at eight o'clock. So an hour and a half, hour and a half, guys. Make sure you guys are watching this for Dogecoin and I'll keep you guys updated on the next video. God bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.